Hey, it's Denise, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you're new, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, or make sure you go subscribe. Make sure you watch my last video, my everyday makeup look, because today, today, honey, we are we are going full glam, full glam. Y'all see this? Y'all see this? Okay. <laughs> I did this glammed makeup look today. I did a glitter cut crease. And you can wear it to prom. You can wear it for your birthday. Anything. Or oh, if you just want to feel glam. You feel me? Like, I ain't even going nowhere. <laughs> prom season is approaching. Ladies, get with it. You want to see me create this look? Keep on watching. <laughs> hey guys, so we're just going to jump right in. I already did my eyebrows off camera. And the eyebrow tutorial is coming real soon. So stay tuned for that. And I'm just getting started by priming my lids with the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige. And then I'm just taking any fluffy brush and just spreading that all over my lids, making sure it's nice and smooth for the eyeshadow application. taking the Morphe 35B palette in the shade Vixen and just putting that in the outer crease and I'm just tapping that on the lid, tapping that in the outer crease just to get the color down and we'll start blending it out later. Also I'm going in with the BH Cosmetic number 11 brush. And I will try to make all the brushes in the video, but if I don't, it will definitely be in the description box below. So now that we have that first shade down, I'm going to start taking my brush in small circular motions just to start blending that color out so we don't look like a raccoon. But trust the process because this look is about to be... <laughs> so now I'm going into my Morphe X James Charles palette and I'm going in and put the shade B. It's that yellow shade and I'm just putting it right on top of Vixen. So I'm going to use that yellow shade as my transition color. And just start patting that on and then again taking my brush in small circular motions. the James Charles palette and I'm picking up that shade Mary and I'm placing that right under Vixen and I'm once again patting that shade on and then we'll blend later. up B again and placing it right on top of Vixen and Mary like right under the brows just to make sure everything is blended and to make sure that we can still see the yellow with all the other colors because sometimes when you're picking up other colors your 
first color can get lost and we don't want that to happen. So you have to keep going back and forth to make sure you're building up the color you desire. So I'm going to take my C467 Concealer Brush from Crown Brushes and my LA Pro Concealer in the color Creamy Beige to cut my crease. Take your time cutting your crease. It took me a long time to, not even, I'm not even going to say perfect because I don't think I'm perfect, but it took me a while to get it where it's at now, okay? Take your time, do not try to rush it and you'll be fine, just take your time. I kinda had a hard time recording this because I don't know if y'all can see it or not because my hand is kinda in the way, but when I get some better equipment or when I get home to my ring light, and then we'll see how it looks, but for now, this is what y'all get. <laughs> I'm trying, okay, I'm trying. So I'm taking the BH Cosmetic Brush that I was using for Vixen and Mary and I'm just taking the same brush with no product on it right now and just making sure it's blended out where the concealer and the shadow meets. I don't want the little line. I want everything to be seamless, okay? And then I'm going to pick up Mary and just tap it into my outer V to just give my eyes. I'm going to take this pigment I got from NYO Pigment and some pigment that I bought at the beauty supply store like a long time ago. One is like white and silvery and then the other is like gold and sparkly. So I just mix the two together and I'm just putting it on the eyelids because I think it's so pretty. But yeah, so I'm just patting that on and I'll have the shades and everything for that in the description below. But for now, I'm just patting it on the eyes. I love the way this looks. Right here, I'm just taking that concealer brush and fixing my concealer because it did start to crease. So I'm just patting it before I put the pigment on my other eye so everything can be nice and smooth. Right here, I'm just applying some lash glue because I lost my glitter glue. So this is what I'm going to use. <laughs> and I'm going to mix the NYX Crystal Glitter and the Eye Candy Yellow Melon Glitter together and just apply that all over the lid. Right here, I'm just taking a wipe and trying my best to get all the glitter that fell on my face off. And girl, I did not get all of it, but y'all know glitter get everywhere and it's annoying to get off. But I tried my best and my makeup still came out bomb, so <laughs> let me stop. <laughs> so I went ahead and did my eyeliner off camera because I thought doing a cut piece on camera was hard. Girl, y'all don't even know. So now I'm just using my Pond's moisturizer and just moisturizing my face. My skin is so dry. This is the time I'm doing me bad. Now I'm taking my Tatcha Soap Campus Primer. And let me tell y'all something. This is the best primer ever. It's the best. Like, I can, I'm still, like, shocked. Like, I'm shook. Like, this is the best primer ever. And I think everybody needs to go get it right now. So if you don't have it, go out and get it now. So I'm going in with my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation in the shade Maple Sugar. And then I'm going to go in with my M439 Buffing Brush to blend my foundation out.
Girl Pro Concealer to conceal and highlight under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, on my forehead, and my chin. And then I'm going to use the shade Beautiful Bronze, another LA Girl Pro Concealer to contour my cheekbones and my forehead. I forgot what song was on, but I'm singing my heart out. <laughs> Like, do not mind me at all because I was bumping throughout this whole video. <laughs> I'm taking my Morphe Beauty Sponge, Wet Beauty Sponge. Please make sure you wet your beauty sponge. Your beauty sponge has to be damp. If it's not damp, if you're using a dry beauty sponge, you are canceled, period. Okay? <laughs> Make sure your beauty sponge is wet, okay? So I started blending out all the areas I highlighted first with my sponge. And then I'm going to use a contour and brush to blend out the contour. And then I'm going to go back in with my sponge to blend out my nose contour. I'm going to set all the areas I highlighted, which is under my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my forehead, and chin with the Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. If you're using a cream or a liquid, you need to set it with a powder. You do not want your makeup to move throughout the day. Set it with a powder. So I'm going in. I'm going to set my contour with the Anastasia Contour Kit in the shade Medium to Tan. I'm going to use a Morphe contour and brush and set all the areas I contoured. a small blending brush and dip into that same shade I use in the contour palette and contour the sides of my nose since I did use concealer there. So I'm going to take a clean brush and just dust off all the extra powder that's on my face. I do not like to let the powder sit on my face for long because I have dry skin. So, And I don't want to be looking like Flashback Mary so dust it off. I'm going to be using the BH Cosmetic Blush Palette, and <laughs> my friend had came in the room, and she was talking to me, but I'm just taking another fluffy brush, and I'm just putting that on the roses of my cheek to give me some color. Prep and Prime spray to spray my face. I'm not necessarily setting my face, but I just want to bring some moisture back after all that powder and make sure my makeup looks skin like. So I'm just patting that in and then I'm going to go in with the Makeup Revolution highlighter and highlight my cheeks, the bridge of my nose, my cupid bow. And then I'm going to go into my Carly Bibble palette and pick up her Highlight a shade and I'm going to use a smaller brush and highlight under my brows and my inner corner.
all the pair of lashes from my friend Jasmine Nu make lash line and these lashes are called spice and I'm sorry I didn't show them in the beginning but these lashes are bomb guys like if you didn't get your mink lashes from Jasmine yet what are you waiting for I'm applying these lashes with hair glue so y'all see the top right there I didn't even realize that was right there like a dummy but yeah i'm using hair glue because lash glue take too long to dry and i don't got that much patience and my friend was waiting for me because we wanted to go get some food so every time i use lash glue my eyes always water like I cannot help it. But anyway, now that our lashes is on and we ready to fly away, we about to put our lips on because this look is soon be done. It will soon be done. So we're gonna go in with the NYX lip liner in the color Nude Truffle. And then we're gonna go in with the NYX lingerie liquid lipstick in the color Baby Doll. And on top of that, put the ABH lip gloss in pastel pink. And lastly, Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in the color Fenty Glow. So I'm going to take Mary from the Morphe X Game Child Palette and just pop that right under the eye and smoke it out. And then I'm going to take the NYX Gold Glitter Liner and starting from the inner tear duct and just drag it out to about the middle of the eye. Just to give your eyes an extra little, you know, pop. the Kevin Aquan mascara for my bottom lashes <gasps> oh my god it broke do you see that what oh my god so I'm just gonna take my broken kilowatt highlighter from Fenty Beauty and pop that in the inner corner the end of the video got cut off, so I don't know. But I took this on my phone, and this is a completed look. So if you guys enjoy watching this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Bye, guys.